I can make a text float over my hand. You can create stunning visual effects using something called masks. And check this one out. I can make a video sing for me. Hello, These are just a few of my favorite cop cut editing hacks that I surely would love to share to all of you, to all of those who just started in their journey in creating videos or editing videos. This video is definitely for you. So today, my friends, I will be sharing to you five cop cut editing tips and tricks that you should know. Go ahead and subscribe, share, and like this video so that we can reach more people who has the same passion of ideas worth sharing. Tip number one, remove CopCut logo. CopCut by default has this logo at the end of each video you're editing. And if you don't want to have it, you know, Every single time you edit a video, you can go to the settings and then uncheck the toggle to our default ending. So now when you start a new project, this CopCut logo will no longer appear in the ending. Tip number two is CopCut web and desktop. Most people associate CopCut with mobile video editing experience, but you can also edit videos directly on the web or via desktop app. To get the web experience, you can head along to copcut.com then you can get started for free. Third tip is text to speech. You can convert text to speech or even text to song. You can just go ahead and click the text to speech and just, you know, add a text. And after that, you can go ahead and choose a specific, you know, speech you want to choose from the options. And you can also Convert it to a song. Welcome to Ideas War. 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 Welcome to Ideas. Tip number four is match cut to add it to a beat. CopCut makes it really simple to add it to the beat. This one only works on mobile. Here I can click on the song and one of the options is titled match cut. Let's stop on that. Here I can manually add to a beat to my song, but I'd rather have CopCut do the heavy lifting. So here I select auto detect and here it finds the beat in the song. And it adds these little yellow dots and when I go back to the main timeline view, I can see those yellow dots on the audio track. Now, when I adjust my video clips, it snap to those little yellow dots. Tip number five, our last tip is keyframes. You can use keyframes to pull off some pretty nice effects like zooming in or panning. Here I am in my timeline. I have this clip that I want to zoom in. I'll go to the very beginning of the clip. Then in the top right hand corner, I'll click on the video and within the basic section under scale, I'll click on this diamond icon that inserts my first keyframe. For this one, I'll leave the scale to 100%. Then I'll go all the way to the end of the clip. And once again, I'll click on this diamond icon that inserts another keyframe. On this keyframe, I'll adjust the scale to, let's say, 140 maybe 150%. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, my top five favorite cop cut editing tricks and tips. You know, I was able to share it to you. I hope that you learned something and please comment below which of those five 
is your favorite. Thank you so much for watching Ideas Worth Sharing YouTube channel. And continue to support, subscribe, share, and like. Thank you and have a good one, everyone.